I'm gonna show you guys my methodology of learning smart contract auditing through Code Arena. And the methodology is participate in order contests and during the downtime, read these previous order reports to learn from previous findings. And that's pretty much it. There's no magic to this process, but specifically, what you want to do when you read through these reports is start taking notes on these findings and uh, try to build out in your notes a mental mind map of sorts so you can go back and review the findings in an efficient manner and start to link some of these concepts together. Now, that's the best way that you're going to be able to start to solidify the knowledge. Uh, so for example, uh, Tomoske is actually doing something similar with this uh, C4 report uh, categorized. He is going through these reports and putting them into uh, different uh, protocol groups uh, that they relate to. And he's also doing this uh, with uh, medium severity findings as well. This is pretty much similar to what I uh, went through um, so I will go through this report and uh, give you an example of how I'm making my cheat sheets. So for example, the first finding in this report is uh, not checking the return value of a transfer and a transfer from. So this is a common ERC20 issue. You can also actually see it from the first uh, order findings 101 on Securium. So if you're completely new to this, this is actually a pretty good report to start with. So what you want to do is just open up a note taking software. It can be anything you feel comfortable with. I just use Joplin because I've been using it for a while. Uh, you can use whatever software that um, makes sense to you. So for example, you can create a code arena folder and in here for your first finding, you can say ERC 20 and put the link to this finding into uh, this uh, particular folder and just go from there, right? You can go through these previous reports and start to build out your own notes around these findings. Um, the second one is around a front running. So an admin can set the price to a higher price that the user may not expect. So you can put this one as an admin a privilege issue or a front running issue. It doesn't really matter to be honest, like exactly which category that you put these findings in, as long as it makes sense to you and it, it's organized in a way that makes it easy for you to review in the future. So um, you can put this one into another folder here. I will call it uh, front running and paste that finding into there. Now the next issue is access control around critical setters. So we can put this one into an access control folder like so. So the final issue in this report is no storage gap for upgradable contracts. This is a pretty common issue in upgradable proxy patterns. Uh, you're supposed to leave a storage gap in case there are storage collisions in the future. You can also find this finding in um, the Securium Audit 101, I believe. So there it is, adding new variables to multi-level inherited upgradable contracts may break storage layout. So we can put this finding into the proxy folder and put it into there like this. And that is the first report done. You can pretty much repeat that process now for these previous order reports. One by one, build out your notes like so. And every day or every week or whenever, you can review the findings, just flick through these and remind yourself what these findings are to review them in a really quick fashion. So you can see I did this uh, for the Securium findings. I categorized them into uh, these folders and I'm also going through the same for all of these uh, C4 findings as well. I've done a bunch already and I've still got a lot in the unsorted folder. 
But these are sort of like my notes. So for example, uh, ERC20 tokens, um, the common issue transfer from, uh, transfer not checking the return values, other issues around it. I've put it under ERC20, which is approve zero. Sometimes there is a race condition around that. And fee on transfer for ERC tokens can be an issue. Rebasing tokens can be an issue. So you can see I've put all of these related issues around ERC20 into to um, this uh, ERC20 folder and same with um, all the other issues around our common um, themes of uh, previous order findings. So build this out yourself as you are going through the previous order reports. So the main learning process is actually when you're making these categories in the first place, because as you review these previous audit findings, you're forcing yourself to think about how it relates to other findings that you already know about and how it relates to a smart contract vulnerabilities as a whole. So this exercise is really going to um, solidify these findings into your mind a lot better. Uh, the process of actually making and categorizing these findings, right? Of course, you can study from other people's cheat sheet, but it's really not going to work as well because this is a mental mind map that someone else has built. So it might not resonate with you perfectly and you don't get the benefit of actually forcing yourself to think through um, these findings and categorizing it yourself. So that's it, that's my methodology. And I'll just mention that you definitely don't need to understand everything in a report to get value out of it. If you really can't understand a finding, just skip it and you can come back to it later and just uh, go through the findings you can understand. And honestly, I promise you, if you do this for a couple of months, uh, you will find medium and high severity findings while doing these order contests on Code Arena.